Privileged ITV presenters Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield have hit back at claims they skipped the queue to see the Queen line in state after a fierce and completely understandable public backlash. Today, this morning, ran a video with a breathlessly remorseful Holly doing her very best to explain what happened in the viral clip from Friday, claiming they were given permission along with, quote, hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists. It was strictly for the purpose of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. The rules were that we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respects walked along a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. OK, right. Uh, so, Holly, the Queen's coffin was only visible if you were walking on a carpet... And you did it all for the millions who couldn't visit Westminster in person. OK, got it. I mean, if only there was a live stream running 24-7. Anyway, go on. None of the broadcasters and journalists there took anyone's place in the queue and no one filed past the Queen. We, of course, respected those rules. However, we realised that it may have looked like something else and therefore totally understand the reaction. Please know that we would never jump a queue. That's probably got to be one of the, if not the most profound moments of my life. I yeah, think. I, I totally, I couldn't agree more. Look, <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this wasn't a piece of journalism. I haven't seen a sign of any crew, and that shaky camera at the end looks as though it was some sort of afterthought filmed on an iPhone. Susanna Reid on this morning's sister show, Good Morning. Britain, an esteemed journalist who was able to queue up for hours. Plus tonight, this is very telling, new footage has emerged showing Holly and Phil being escorted into Westminster Hall. What's that in the background? It appears to be people queuing. <laughs> Literal queue jumping. Now, look, these two, they always want to blame someone else. Look at their response to their energy bills competition controversy where they sniped at internet trolls and then doubled down. And Amanda Patel, I actually think what they should have done is held their hands up and said, we skipped the queue. It was a mistake. Yes, they should. And they didn't. And they're banged to rights. And there's no, they were, no way they can wriggle out of it. I mean, that scene, there's, there's, we were talking about this earlier, Rebecca, about, um, that there's an old guy with like a cane mm. walking along really slowly and they bounce up. And, and Holly, of course, had her mask on. So no one would recognize her. That worked. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> oh, look, they're banged to rights. You Re know. Rebecca, are you angry about this one? No, I don't think, um, almost nobody is angry. We're just, I'm angry. Oh, people are just I'm laughing. really angry. Oh, Rebecca, no. People, people no, are laughing no, no, no. They really are. Yeah. Are things furious to do. about this. My favourite thing is there's a nice shot of my uncle in that clip. Is he there? Was, yeah, he looks very smart in his brown coat. And he had lined um, up. And he had queued up. And well, he had not Holly. Is he angry that Holly and Phil I just managed passed, to get straight in? If you're in? watching Uncle Francis, call me. Let me know if you're angry. <laughs> I think most people think it's a ridiculous thing. And honestly, if they had just gone on this morning, this morning, and done a roundup of the funniest memes from Twitter, laughing at them for their behaviour, people would have thought, okay, at least they're being self. Yeah. self I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that, Rebecca. No. I think that people that, are furious. They're writes that. That lots of people thought, do I have the time? Do I have 12? Do I have 20 mm. hours to queue up? And lots of people yeah. did, and they didn't. Yeah. And, and you look at David Beckham, they must who be did queue up. If you look at how everybody was like, David Beckham, God, David Beckham, mm. Prince, David Beckham. Well, it was great he, he that he queued. queued. It is great that he queued, but it was the best free publicity. Qatar yeah, won. You, no, no, it was the most sensible thing he could have done. Come on. Yeah. And, it, and it, Phil and Holly are probably kicking mm. themselves. They didn't get all the I mean, Calvin, I think the problem is... We're a little bit sick of the way that Philip and Holly always blame everyone else. We're a little bit sick of the way that Philip, for example, used our great colleague here, Eamon Holmes, uh, for his coming out announcement and then yeah. threw him under the bus. I think we're just a bit fed up. Yeah. Two. I mean, for me, I couldn't, I could not get incensed about the queue jumping, but I really don't like the lying and this, this thing that oh, everyone else was on the carpeted area. No, the carpet was where the coffin mm. was. Everyone was walking down the Great Hall as you did, and you stopped and bowed. You didn't go straight to the media platform. Don't lie about it. Yeah. Uh, put, like you said, put your hands up, apologise, and move on. I also and lots of great I'm journalists little, have done that. I'm a bit frustrated that it does seem to be Holly who's getting the bulk of this. Phil seemed to be very... Oh, no, it's both. He, no, he, honestly, people are weird with him. People no. let him get away with all sorts. It's very no. odd. It's, it's, uh, it's both. Look, he had to fit in his, um, his visit there between his ads for gambling things and, you know, mm. buying cars and stuff like that. You know, he's a busy guy. Does Cut he do gambling slack. adverts? What? Does he, I didn't know that. He's all over Millennial the media doing TV. his 
rich in ads. That's naughty. Hey, I'm really... I don't know if it's gambling, though, isn't it? Something about cars or something? Yeah, get your best price in your car. Uh, Unclear whether it's gambling or not. What do you call that? <laughs> I'm a hotel. <laughs>